ओके दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट इन टी आई फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स पेपर एंड इट्स इज दैट ए थायरोट्रोन कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए ट्यूब विच इज फिल्ड विद एज इन ओन गैस द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर गेटिंग इमिटेड फ्रॉम दिस प्लेट के एंड दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर गेटिंग फर्दर एक्सलेटेड थ्रू दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस विच इज अप्लाइड बिटवीन प्लेट के एंड पी देर इज ए कंडक्टिंग एनवल अप दैट ट्रांसपोर्ट्स <coughs> the electrons back to the zero potential by means of this grounding you can see here and it ask what should be the variation of this plate current as we change the accelerating potential and that could indicate the wave nature of the electron so we can apply the scattering theory here so we all know from the scattering theory the Uh, scattering amplitude is given by f theta phi equals to summation 2l plus 1 sum exponential e to the i delta l sin delta l cos and that should be p l cos theta and the limit of l is equals to zero to infinity here delta is the phase change in the lth partial wave and the scattering cross section the total scattering cross section is given by the integral f theta phi square d omega where omega is the solid angle from the expression of the scattering uh, amplitude it is clear that if delta l equals to z some pi some integral multiple of pi then we will get f theta phi Equals to zero, and if f theta phi is equals to zero, then sigma total will be equals to zero, and the scattering cross section is zero. That means no scattering, no scattering. This type of phenomenon do occur in nature when uh, low energy electrons are scattered against a rear gas, something like xenon and neon and argon. there is no scattering at all in some situations and this effect is known as a ramsauer ramsauer ah uh, townsend townsend effect i'm not sure whether the spelling or the pronunciation is correct so and this effect can be understood easily as follows if the if the electrons if the electrons are of extremely small energy something like 0.5 electron volt or 0.1 elect 1 electron volt or 1.2 electron volt something like this only the l equals to 0 wave l equals to 0 wave means the s wave the s the s wave would only suffer in some change in its phase after scattering now if we increase the strength of the attractive potential in this case the uh, potential of the xenon atom if we increase this it will only increase it will only change it will only uh, change the phase of the l equals to 0 wave and that too a little the l equals to 1 l equals to 2 and other components remain unaffected so i am not going to prove all things here if we if you want you can just uh, refer to the this book uh, modern quantum mechanics mechanics by sakurai i'm just giving the i'm just giving the summary of the uh, results so if the strength of the attractive potential in this case the potential of the xenon atom and the energy of the incoming electrons is such that the phase shift 
is some pi or 2 pi and some integral of pi then sigma that is the total cross section will be 0 and that implies no scattering and if we further increase the energy of the electron the probability of the scattering also increases so we see the graph between current and voltage something like this this is the paid current now when the uh, energy of the electrons is some special value that is some uh, it, it was found in the experiments some one electron volt we see the cross the scattering cross section area is zero there so at one electron volt there is no scattering of the electrons at this point the current should be maximum and after that if we increase the uh, accelerating potential the energy of the electron will also increase and the scattering probability also increases and so the graph should look something like this and that too matches with the B option. Thank you.